What's good, Spot YouTube family? We back with another reaction video. We got my boy Sensei. <sighs> with Yuji Rohama and the Brothers of Destruction. Not Kane and Undertaker. But we know. We know the Brothers of Destruction. We know. And he done brought CJ the champ with him. So it's finna get crazy. I feel like this is this the tournament art? It might be, I don't know. But all I'm gonna say is it's gonna get crazy. So both they channels gonna be linked down below along with the original video. Make sure you go show us some love. And we're gonna go ahead and hop right into it, but you know we gotta full screen this one. We gotta full screen it. All right, I ain't gonna lie, man. Baki is probably one of my, if not my favorite series, bro. And I done covered every single season of Baki, except for one. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's time, y'all. Get your it's time. snacks, you bitch. I don't know if you want to get topped off while we doing this or not, bro. But today we're here that to- That might be a good idea. Games. Pan filled, demonic, demented. Demonic. Menacing tournaments in anime, home to some of the ugliest niggas in Shonen. But they also have hands, though. They are so it's cool. It doesn't even matter. And they I ain't gonna lie, mixing. we're gonna focus on three characters in particular, that being Yujiro Hanuma. Right. Hanuma. And I brought a very special Is it by the name of CJ the Champ. All right, ladies and gentlemen. To talk about <laughs> ladies the and damn menace who is Jack Hammer. <laughs> Hanuma. But, you know, Hammer sounds cooler. Strap in, get your mouth fucking snacks because this is Yujiro Hanuma, the Brothers it's of Destruction, destruction. and the Baki, the Maxim <coughs> Tournament. So basically, this tournament was brought together by this short midget ass nigga. Some of y'all casual fans will remember this little short ass nigga from the newer Baki seasons with the prisoners. And yeah, the little, the little that baked that potato here. In. Anyways, Baki was the most dangerous kid in the world. He won the tournament the first time. Now this guy through the tournament before and Baki won becoming the most dangerous kid in the world, apparently. But this nigga ain't no kid no more. This nigga Baki done grew up. And he has been invited as the former champion to fight in this tournament for the world's strongest man. Now I don't know how they're going to do this on some white beer shit. How you gonna say he the world's strongest man, but Yujiro Hanuma isn't in the tournament? That mm. nigga is stronger than every single person in this tournament. Y'all really trying to play Cause he like know, God. he know, know he don't gotta be there. Red hair and all that. But y'all don't like gingers? Like, uh, what's going on? He know he Anyways, don't gotta be there. the tournament starts and we get introduced to all the fighters, yo. We got Dope Boy Orochi. We got my man Goki. We got a fake ass Conor McGregor. They call this man Ian McGregor. Come on, bro. Y'all was making fun of Conor McGregor. I mean, I don't think they was cause it happened so long ago. But like, it can't be a coincidence, right? Yeah, Anyways, it, it can't Jack be. Hammer, the big ass fiend himself, right? right Jack like, Hammer started off as a Skeletor build, bro, <laughs> and now this nigga is a seven foot stretch. This the roids, the of course you got Baki, but the first fight that we see is Baki versus this big ass wrestler. Literally doesn't matter who this wrestler is because Baki punished this nigga. Real he came punished. Out dressed up like Hulk Hogan, just thought to he was going to do right. Thought he was going to do something. Did this nigga so dirty, nobody even knows his name. I don't even know if they introduced this nigga I don't think or not. I don't think they did matter. they said random fighter like number this? 17 ass ultimate warrior but anyways that doesn't matter the next fight we got two irrelevant ass because again you got this big ass wrestler and it's more nobody fighter. care about I'm not gonna hold you skip These that because it's fighting dirty as soon as the fight started this nigga spit blood in his eyes bro gave him a bloodborne <laughs> to win this fight. got this nigga in a sideways hat fighting bro if you don't get your fake ass New York hoodlum right John Cena hoodlum build. bro came in here straight from the 1980s with this sideways fat ass hat on bro got his whole character build from mtv jams i'm not me. lying but after this yo we got this old nigga versus a sumo wrestler bro bro was out here looking straight like e honda i'm not gonna lie bro is this street fighter four five or six but eight he's, look he's at that. slamming his ass bro look bro, at him i ain't gonna lie i've never Belly seen the a sumo wrestler fight like this why the hell was e honda spazzing out like that bro had this man and slamming him in all different directions Punish that nigga. Moving on, though, we finally got a fight that I wanted to see, bro. We got my man Retsu versus Sergey, bro. Is it Sergey? I don't Sergey? Am I allowed to say Sergey? I, I, I think it's Sergey. Bro, this was the craziest shit I ever seen, bro. This man Retsu sat on this nigga's shoulders and twisted around to <laughs> break this nigga's neck. They called her like a the the, the terror terror shock terror. We don't, don't we know. Remember the name of the 
fucking move? I don't know, bro. I'm not a martial artist, bro. Touche. I the mission martial arts from age four to five. I'm not gonna lie. I only got my blue belt. You feel me? I ain't even really I ain't even do it. Yeah, that. I ain't Same. do that either. But this man reps who sat on I was still beginners and went in a clockwise position and broke this man neck. First off, Ressu out here looking real clean. He got the Steven Seagal, you feel me, the slick ponytail. Mm, the, Yo, I ain't gonna lie. What's up with the skincare routine, too? The, you looking kind of hard. I you know what I'm saying? That's Paul's. Anyway, anyways. So after this, yo, oh yeah, Dope Orochi's son is in this. Katsumi, I think is his name, or Katsumi. That's the fairy tale like music. Katsumi something. Bro, you remember the ape that Baki beat up when he was a kid? So mm -hmm. then he got a son and he's one of the reserve spots. I am not gonna lie, Planet of the Apes came to Baki, bro. This big yeah, red like, why ape are you here? He started fighting this man Katsumi and got fucking punished, yeah. bro. You remember how you nothing much like your this daddy. man Baki struggled against that ape? When I tell you this man Kazume beat the shit out of this ape, he beat this ape up so bad Baki was about to break the fight up. Then he was about to kill him. I'm like, first off, please call CPSO. Somebody get a No, nah, he should never here. join. Why is this man about to kill this endangered species? Because he should never join. I ain't gonna lie, the ape was mad strong though. He was throwing that nigga around at first, bro. I'm, I, I ain't gonna hold you. Moving on to the next fight, though, we got my favorite hoodlum, Hanayama versus Inagi, bro. Hanayama, Hanayama. And I know I'm probably saying his name wrong, and y'all always be like saying, you saying, what is Hanayama? We don't care. Is it Haniyami? Haniyomi? I'm not going to keep doing this. I'm going to call this nigga what I want to call him, bro. But this Thank you. got a Do it. crazy tattoo on his back. Bro, this man Hanayama probably look real good when you giving him back shot. That was crazy. I am not damn. What did you just say? What did you just say? What did you just say? Baki, bro, because he's strong as bro. Like, this man is built crazy for no reason. Nah, what you Why just said was crazy. Like this? this man, God, hit him with a chiseled ray, bro. He was like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna make the look big as shit, strong as hell, and give him a shack bill. And then he just picasso that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Handcrafted him. But man was missing Handcrafted this him. I ain't gonna lie. He was so strong, bro, that he punched this nigga while his arm was fucked up and knocked him out. Then he flexed this tattoo and spit drink on him. I'm like, bro, what? This yeah, is disrespectful. It bro real had a disrespectful. Hennessy in his mouth and said, <laughs> bro spit on him and it sounded like when SpongeBob was talking to those niggas when he got lost after leaving Glove World. Nigga said, leaving I Glove World. Just beat your ass. This nigga <laughs> spit drink on him. Moving he could on, never do that to me though. This is that's just me though. This nigga named Joint Fetish. I am not gonna lie. The words Joint and Fetish should not go together. That is Ever. crazy, bro. Cause what kind of Joint? What you what you mean by that? What, what what kind of Fetish is that, bro? But this nigga started mixing. They had his whole arm dislocated, bro. He punched his arm and made his arm go back to normal. He had a dislocated arm. Now normally I ain't gonna lie, bro I got a regen punch. Before I went to the hospital, bro, and they had to like jam it back in. Bro. I used to. This nigga punched one time and whipped his goddamn arm back into shape. Bro, I am not gonna hold you, bro. I'll never want to see this nigga whipping Nene in my life. Cause he probably gonna break the goddamn sound barrier. <laughs> he said he don't want to whip Nene. Mind, I'm moving too far ahead, bro. Uh, we gonna get there. So he proceeded to push up with one arm and get out of this arm lock, bro. I hate niggas like him. <sighs> Anyways, needless to say, he won that fight. Oh yeah, by the way, a plane just came in, and guess who's on it? You Hanma. Challenger approaches. It's Yujiro Hanma, bro. This Yujiro is here, bro. Hanma. So there's this whole moment where they're talking about Yujiro Hanma, and this guy is telling this other guy, look, bro, imagine you got up and said, I want to beat up the president. It'd be really hard for you to do, right? Not for this Nick, bro. If he woke up and said he wanted to punch Barack Obama in the face, it would have been happy. I would call him racist. I'm not going to lie. But, well, he would have did it, though. He so really would have did showed it. Up, the little short dude is begging him not to intervene, but he made a kind of an agreement. He was like, look, yo, put this thing in the little tournament, I'm gonna let everything be cool. Yeah, I'm let y'all rock. I'm let y'all rock. This is other delinquent though. This man Chiharu, bro. I am not gonna hold you. The way that he stomped out his first opponent, bro. This nigga had put black Tims on this nigga, bro. He stomped this nigga <laughs> out for victory, bro. Who do you know stomps a nigga as a fighting move? That is crazy. ATL. Bald ass monk that submitted Ultimate Warrior. Doesn't matter. Don't care about him. This Don't nigga care about him. Got bored, though. Don't oh, care about God, him. We gonna leave yeah, you know what happened when he get the bored. Story and talk about this man Yujiro. So Yujiro got bored and walked outside and found the Muay Thai champion. You know what happened when he get bored. Somebody got to get packed. Yep. Fingers. Bro, how did you get beat up by two fingers? This nigga beat you up with not one, not two. Oh, wait. It was two. It, it doesn't matter, bro. An index finger and a middle finger beat a Muay Thai champ. I hate this nigga, bro. Yeah, Imagine I hate this man, tough, bro. bro. 
then a nigga beat you up with two fingers. Man, anyways, moving on. The way that he killed this nigga though was embarrassing. Cause not only did he beat him up with two fingers, he then plucked this nigga's neck and broke it. <laughs> Anyways, bro. <laughs> After this, we get introduced to Jack Hanama, bro. And yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this is the part of the video where I have to bring in my special guest, CJ the Champ, to explain to y'all who this nigga Jack Hanama is and how much of a fucking menace he truly is. Alright, ladies hey. and gentlemen. Jack Hanma, man. This steroid as big as put a needle in your ass. <laughs> there is no reason to be this damn big. But no, no, no. You see, this nigga wasn't always this big, bro. I mean, he started off looking Look like him. a damn dried out fruit. Nigga looked like a piece of okra. A damn orange with Stick no bird. damn orange juice. Like, I mean, that makes no sense, but nigga, look at him. Like, yo, can somebody get this nigga a sandwich? But no, nah, I mean, we know how he was up like that, I mean, Yujiro redo it a healer, his mama. Be her cheeks. She became bald. Mm. And now Jack basically bald too. Look at that hairline. Nigga, that shit look like a damn puzzle piece. Nah, but crazy. nah, bro got on them roids, right? And nigga went from plankton to Larry the lobster. Bro be looking like some of these fake ass fitness influencers that be claiming that they natural. But nah, when this man got nah, to the tournament, he was just beating the, layer the absolute monster. hell out of everybody. He clocked this one nigga shit so hard, he was stiff as a board and hit a damn 720. Flipping and shit, looking like a damn Olympic diver. And when he was fighting, he was trying to bite niggas. He bit this one dude on the he wrist Mike and Tyson. picked him up. Bro was like, hmm, looks like you'll be my dinner tonight. Got that dog in him. Mike Tyson shit. But no, this man is absolutely disgusting. This man is Black Air Force incarnate. His existence is humanly impossible, but hey, I mean, uh, that's that Hama boy. Hey, I mean, like, if this is your like dad, seven, I'm not questioning your genetics like or anything, foot? my nigga. I'm so not even. introduced I'm to Jack Hama, Ujiro jumps down into the ring. We had this whole moment, bro. This man, Baki, jumps in on some straight d and sh like, no, there's no way you can't challenge him. You don't have the right to. Get your dick eating right, ass get out your, of here, get bro. The, you are a dick gobbling this nigga right, right now. The, I know you want to fight him, but bro, what do you mean he's not worthy? And then this man Ujiro literally tossed you in the craziest, right, like, nastiest CGI I've ever seen out of the whole screen. Anyways, moving like, on, yo, we got up. my man Dope Boy Orochi versus Richard Phil. First off, this nigga is a bouncer at like high security clubs. He be taking hella punches. So this man Dope Boy Orochi wanted to have fun with him and decided to come in a fucking suit and brawl this nigga. First off, Big why mistake. did you come in a tailored suit? Right. Ain't nobody tell y'all two swole ass niggas to come just like Jordan Bond Strangle and James <laughs> Bond having a baby. I ain't gonna lie though, yo. The fact that he beat you <laughs> up in your own Jordan attire Bond is Strangle crazy. Is Go put your alternate costume on and it beat your ass. Master Goki fought a wrestler after this, and I'm not gonna lie, he punished him just using pure technique. It doesn't even matter, yo. The way that this old nigga fight is embarrassing. He uses all of your power and he kind of returns it back to you. Plus his original power, it's like if you hit him with an 80, he gonna hit you with a hundred. Like it's kind of mm. crazy. I'm not gonna lie, but anyways, he punishes that. Who cares? Now Who we got cares? the two brothers fight. We got this doctor ass nigga and then this weird nigga that we wearing lipstick. I don't know if these two are in the LGBTQ community or not, or if they just be dressing feminine. I don't know. Who knows? But both of them just confuse me, and by confuse me. I mean, why Confusion. are you dressed like that? Confusion. I don't know if y'all are here to fight in this tournament or if you're here to pick up niggas, bro. I'm just saying, I don't know. But they end up fighting and this whole fight is fucking weird, bro. Because it's one brother trying to like get out of the shadow of his other brother. But then there's this brother one part stuff. where he's like reverting back to those memories of his brother, like kind of bullying him or like being over top of him. Pause. That was crazy. And he starts being like, oh my, no, stop, stop. I quit. Like it was so weird. And then he was losing the fight, but his brother gave up. I it was, yeah, know. unimportant. Nobody Next cared up, we about him. Baki versus Zulu. And can I just say that the fact that this man's name is Zulu, Zulu. and he's African is super racist. I just want to say because like yo i understand y'all from japan and all that but why did y'all make him act like an animal the one character that's the African, one y'all had this nigga being incoherent he can't talk he's acting like a literal wild feral animal and you named him zulu however i digress that was kind of crazy it this is nigga is tripping baki ends up fighting and losing but then Look the guy him. tries to fight him again he, honorable, and then he beats him and it's one one and then he ends up beating him. my point is that was really crazy that y'all had this man out here looking like, you feel me, a, a stereotypical African guy. Bro came out here in the whole tribal getup. Look at how he's stomping talking, him. Not talking, making noises, dancing around. If y'all had put a voodoo mask him. on him, I swear to God. But anyways, moving on. We had E-Honda versus this wrestling ass 
bro. This dude Showtime. I ain't gonna lie, yo. The way that Showtime and Baki's fight happened. All right, anyways. This fight was embarrassing, bro, because this nigga challenged him to a sumo wrestling match. He's not even a sumo wrestler, and he challenged him to this. It got so bad that this bro threw the towel in. Bro threw the towel in. And then after the fight was over, he was so embarrassed that he took his top knot off. Bro said, I'm not even a sumo wrestler no more. Nigga went from E-Honda to G-Toyota Camry. <laughs> this nigga is not a sumo wrestler no more. Next up, we had Kazumi versus Hanayama, which was probably one of my favorite fights in this whole tournament because these niggas was going to f*** at it, bro. This man, Hanayama, does not give up, bro. We got a whole backstory about how this dude saved his ancestor, and that's why they wear this tattoo to, like, honor this strong guy. That's why they always want to, like, Look at his and Look at the and hair tough. on the side and of I'm his head. I'm not going to hold you, bro. This nigga is like that. Even though Kasumi ended up winning with technique, he was getting punished at first. When I tell you that this man, Hanayama, was punching the soul out of this, Look bro, at every him. time he got punched, you could see his soul leaving his face. His eye was turning gray mid punch. Hanayama would punch his. How you beat the color out somebody? Eye. It looked like Thanos snapped him away every time he got hit. But the way this man Hanayama went out was crazy because he stood tall like Whitebeard, would not fall on his back, but he passed out and he lost. So you know. <sighs> Anyways, we got Chiharu versus Conor McGregor. I mean, Ian McGregor. <laughs> this fight was mad crazy. I'm not going to lie because this man Chiharu made him fight him by taking this cloth and tying it to his leg. It was crazy. But then midway through the fight, Ian realized that he had to actually fight him without gloves and shit. He was seeing visions from this heavyweight boxing champion. Like, I don't he know was if getting PTSD. Fight or not. But he, he ends up PTSD. fighting with no hands. To the point where the dude that's with him throws the towel in, makes him quit because he says, oh, you're going to f*** your hands up. That was kind of a cop out win. It was. I think that was Ian a real was cop end out. Up winning because Jihara was kind of trash, but very at least trash. Gave him respect. Very dude. This man fit is crazy though. I'm not gonna lie. Like bro was dressed like 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 Jinzo from Yu-Gi-Oh. Like. <laughs> So this nigga Garland show up after this, yo. This big ass, super crazy 600 and no wrestler, bro. He comes in and slams Hanayama, knocks him out, puts Chiharu in the roof. This man Jack won smoke when he saw this nigga. He I'm did. not gonna lie, bro. I, I, when I saw this shit, I was like, oh yeah, this nigga Jack definitely wanna fight this dude. And that fight is gonna be crazy. And it was, but we're not there yet. But we are at Jack versus this Kempo nigga, bro. When I tell you he I'm, did this nigga arteries dirty, Jack yeah. be biting niggas. Jack has a biting problem. I don't know what's up with it's this the dude. Roids. I it's don't the know roids. if he needs to go it's to the, the dentist. Roids. If something's going on with him, or, or if bro builds dams on his spare time because he on some beaver. Shit. But bro, when I tell you he be chomping on niggas like a wild animal, it's crazy. He bit this nigga's arteries. Bro passed out while fighting him. What is going on with this drug addict? Anyway, so we got He's a drug addict. bro called a lady boy, which is crazy. I can't believe they said that. Y'all transphobic? Like, what's up? I ain't gonna hold you. Dopo was punishing him at first, yo. I I'm gonna keep it real. He was really fucking that dude up. But then he ended up getting folded up like a pretzel. But when I tell you this nigga Dopo was a savage, he grabbed this nigga's foot and ripped his toenails off. Bro said, come here. Give me them toenails, nigga. He, he put him in a off. jar. But anyways, after this, he ended up beating Dopo up pretty badly. And no, they I started just begging just for them to say he won because he didn't want to <clears> kill Dopo. It was so weird, bro. So Yujiro came down and smoked this nigga. At this point, he's so mad, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yujiro was such a savage. He was so mad. He told them that he wanted to fight all the rest of the winners. But then all the losers came out and when i tell you he beat all the losers up he punished all of them at their own game bro it got so bad that they shot this nigga with tranquilizers and put a goddamn bear net on him they locked this dude up oh my god bro i couldn't even believe it they had to treat him like an animal Jiro punished a whole arena of niggas because he's an animal and then the winners jumped in they was about to get it too but moving on we got goki versus the karate brother bro punish that nigga i ain't gonna lie bro wore violet lipstick for no reason just to get punished so after got this we got showtime punished. versus baki yo this nigga started begging baki to let him win this was the most embarrassing shit i ever saw but it was all talk a about scheme. it talk about acting. it so they get the fighting, bro, and this nigga, again, like I said, was acting, but he was playing dirty the whole time. Yo, he even brought in, yo, this dude was a savage. He brought in a fake Baki mom to distract Baki. <sighs> That's it wasn't wild. His real mom. It was some fake ass mom. It was some actor. But then he realized as fighting this man Baki that he's way too flexible for these dumbass wrestling moves that he got. And yeah. this nigga just started getting punished like you know very badly. Is. Bro beat this nigga up like he was a gymnast. So as they're fighting, Showtime getting the fans to clap for him and shit. But Baki started doing it back to him mm -hmm. when he punished him. Punish. This nigga start clapping his damn hands. 
He even had his woman cheering for him, bro. That's he took wild. everything away from this nigga. But the dude ended up not even caring he because he had a great match with him. Me. Bro, how you get your whole and your fans taken and you don't even care? Anyways, bro. Retsu vs. Kasumi was crazy, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. A Chinese this was a hard fight. just built completely different, yo. He punished this nigga, like, badly. I ain't going to lie to y'all, yo. I just had my editor cut out something crazy. I ain't going to hold you, but I think you two would have flagged me if I said that. So I had to get him to cut it. But it, it, just know that, you know what I'm saying, it was a little uh, something that rhymes with uh, cases. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know, bro. Anyways, okay. this man Garland okay. versus Jack started happening, and Garland was punishing this nigga at first, bro. This was surgical, bro. Like, 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 like. like That's I, Kurt Angle. I, 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 bro, bro was a fiend, bro. First That's of all, Jack is a fiend. The way that this nigga Garland was fucking him up, and then them drugs kicked in, and he started punishing him, like his meth depended on it. Bro was fighting that man like Garland. His meth like, yo, depended if I lose on this, it. I don't get no more heroin, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. He was Jack punishing versus this nigga. Kurt Angle. Started biting him and everything, bro. So me as I beat him, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't know how Jack was gonna lose, but that didn't matter. Now we got Dopo versus Goki. It was a back and forth fight for the most part. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Get his eyes on Dopo wrote you was doing this thing. But Goki was just too determined, bro. Like, even though Dopo face. found the way to reverse his technique, he still just had too much action for him, yo. That man Goki is built different. First off, how you built like that and doing that much damage? Right. Like, bro came in, too, with the weird-ass wedge sandals. You know the ones that the Asian niggas be wearing? Like, it this man Goki came in looking like a Ghost of Tsushima boss. Like, I ain't gonna me. hold you. So next up, we have my Clan man Baki versus Retsu, bro. And I ain't gonna hold you, bro. This man Baki on that damn image training. <laughs> You remember in the new season where he was imagining right. fighting the Pram Manis right. and, and, and Mike Tyson? Bro, he been doing that apparently. He started imagining strong ass Muay Thai fighters kicking him. Went into the fight, beat up. How you losing to your imagination? Bro, can he win against himself? I, right. I swear to God. The rest was on this nigga ass, bro. But apparently it woke up the Baki Hanma in him. And then he used his own move against Retsu. He broke this nigga's neck with the mm. little spinny Had shit. Had him by the Looked ponytail. Like the clock was going counterclockwise on that nigga. I'm not going to hold you. Yujiro mad, though, because he didn't kill him. He spared him, caught him a failure. How you going to call your own son a failure? He went and fight. Oh, I swear to Because he ain't right. body nigga, him. Bro, bro there's the no way this nigga would ever get the dad of the year award. I'm just saying. So anyways, Goki versus Jack happened, bro. And this man Goki tried everything he could to fight dirty. Spit water in this nigga eye to simulate him drowning. Going. That was demonic. Not he even going. kicked him in the neck, yo. But then this nigga bit his ankle. Bro, you're literally an ankle biter. That's <laughs> crazy. Jack is a monster, bro. The way that he was fighting Goki was kind of scary, bro. He was chomping at this nigga like a lion. Nigga even learned his Aiki technique mid-fight and started right. using it against Goki. This dude is demented. Jack was hard, though. Final Pause. fight. Jack versus Baki. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Baki was doing this thing, but everything Jack was for was not. Wild even on though him. he was doing this thing, it ended up with a rear naked choke, and it was just the Ujiro moment all over again. Where he's completely outmatched by a nigga that's not even guarding. We got this whole backstory with Ujiro during this, because Jack, we find out, is the brother of Baki. Apparently, this nigga, Ujiro, was in the military fighting a whole army of niggas barehanded. Yep. Met some chick named Diane, I think, Banged or Stacey, her. Stephanie. I don't remember the shorty name. She was white and had blonde hair, bro. She probably was Aryan. But anyways, he ends up having sex with her. I think he R-worded her. I'm not going to lie. I can't remember she exactly. She liked it, though. But I think that's why Jack's so mad about it. Like, I... So he dedicated his whole oh, This nigga Jack be dick eating bro I ain't gonna lie but any of <laughs> But my point is he beat a whole military group of niggas With no guns Except for his biceps I'm just saying that Anyways, after this little flashback, Baki starts fighting back. This nigga Jack, yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This nigga started using his teeth again, this freak ass boy. Nigga bit Baki's arm, the artery. So Baki got three minutes to win this fight now. He's bleeding out, bro. But Baki girl started speaking, and you know the power of coochie compels mm -hmm. us, bro. Pussy and vagina runs the world, bro, because this nigga started turning up. Started using started everybody's bow, bow. move. The mock punch Kasumi had, the, 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 the cord cutter, all of that shit. But he ended up using his final move, which was a front neck choke. And somehow, bro, he entered into a Ujiro mode. His back started tensing up and he mm -hmm. made the demon face on his back. I don't know if this nigga Ujiro possessed him like Ozzy did Yusuke or, or I don't know what happened, bro. But, but the way that he choked the life out of this nigga was crazy. Before that, the drugs had worn off, right? And apparently it like perfected his body. So it's like 
this well-trained body that surpassed steroids i don't even know bro all i know is he needs rehab that's all i know yeah bro. he needs You're critical alone, rehab bro. you want rue from euphoria would be best friends i'm just saying yes wow point is though baki ended up winning bro he choked this nigga out completely cold they gave this nigga the belt and it ended with jack and yujiro hanuma fighting and he punished this nigga bro it was bad it had his fucking blood all over the garage yep. the moral of the story is if you're going to be born into the world, make sure that you don't have Ujiro as a father. That's and if facts. you have no choice, I guess you just got to get strong and beat your brother up some time. I don't. Is there even a. I don't think there's a point to this, nigga. Ujiro's a demon. Yeah, it is. You, Ujiro just there to cause havoc, bro. Like, let's be honest. He's there to cause havoc. <laughs> Ujiro do not care about nothing. He don't give a fuck about nothing, bro. Like, let's. Let's be honest. Let me be honest, he don't give a fuck. That's, hey, but Baki, hey, that whole tournament was fire, though. Them niggas was throwing straight hands. Niggas was getting beat up. Niggas was getting put in packs. Niggas was really, it was going down. It was going down. But both their channels going to be linked down below. I'm on the original video. Make sure you go show us love. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.